everyone. My name is Nurul Ain Shakifa binti Nur Shafari and I'm a chemical engineering student in UITM Shah Alam. Today, in this video, I will show and explain about crystallization. Do you guys know what crystallization is? I'm sure you heard this word before but you may not know how it happens. So, crystallization is a process by which a solid forms where the atoms or molecules are highly organized into a structure known as a crystal. In other words, crystallization is a process where solid particles are formed from a homogeneous space. There are some examples of crystallization. First, freezing of water to form ice. Second, formation of solid crystals from a liquid solution. Third, formation of solid particles from liquid mats. And fourth, formation of snow particles from vapor. A crystallization process generally has some characteristics. First, the feed material is either in solution or is a liquid above the melting point of the solid phase. If in solution, there may be more than one solvent present. Second, the product material is solid and present as particles in a range of sizes. Third, the product is generally surrounded by mother liquor or liquid remaining after a substance has crystallized out. And lastly, there may be soft or solid impurities present. Some impurities may have very similar properties to the solid. The process and mechanism of crystallization has two events. First, Atoms or molecules cluster together on the microscopic scale in a process called nucleation. Next, if the clusters become stable and sufficiently large, the solid crystal may form. There are some nucleation theories. First, solubility and crystal size. Second, homogeneous nucleation. Third, contact nucleation. And fourth, nucleation in commercial crystallizers. In order to have more understanding on crystallization, let's do a simple home experiment. Before I proceed, there are some materials and equipment that you need to prepare. We need a pot and stirrer, a lot of sugar, a tall glass, wood skewer, a clip, and flavor to make color. Firstly, make the sugar solution by adding 1 cup of water and 4 cups of sugar to a pot. Then, mix them together until they are thoroughly mixed. Next, take one skewer and dip it in some water and then pour it in some sugar. Once the skewer is coated with sugar, take it aside. Next, place the sugar solution onto the stove with high heat and stir them. When it begins to boil, stir the solution rapidly until the sugar is mixed into solution. Then, close the stove after 3 minutes and add the flavoring that you want to make your crystals look alike. Next, pour the boiling solution into a tall glass that you have prepared and let the solution cool for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, place the skewer coated with sugar into the middle of the glass and hold it with a clip. Leave the solution in a warm place to make it cool. The crystals will begin to form on the skewer. After one or two days, you can see the crystals are formed. So, what happens when you heat a sugar solution? When you add sugar to water, the sugar crystals dissolve and the sugar goes into solution. But you can dissolve an infinite amount of sugar into a fixed volume of water. When as much sugar has been dissolved into a solution as possible, the solution is said to be saturated. 
the higher the temperature, the more sugar that can be had in solution. When you cook sugar to extremely high temperatures, the sugar remains in solution, even though much of the water has boiled away. When there is more sugar in solution than is normally possible, the solution is said to be supersaturated with sugar. Supersaturation is an unstable state. Then, the sugar molecules will begin to crystallize back into a solid. In chemical industry, crystallization occurs in many types of crystallizer. There are tank crystallizer, circulating liquid evaporator crystallizer, circulating magma crystallizer, and circulating magma evaporator crystallizer. In conclusion, Crystallization is a solid liquid separation and purification technique in which mass transfer occurs from a liquid solution to a pure solid crystalline phase. This process is used to purify a solid from its impurities. In the chemical industry, crystallization occurs in equipment called crystallizer. Finally, Crystallization is an important process because it is one of the most widely used technologies in the chemical industry, pharmaceutical, and food sectors. So before I end this video, I want to thank my lecturer, Madam Shafiza, for all the guides and not forget to all members that helped me to complete this video. And thank you for watching. Bye!